This week I was inspired by the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Amen. What's up, King Sitters Nappy Boo? All up on your screen. I am a speaker. <laughs> yes, girl, you guys a speaker. Okay. To a art forum event. My homegirl asked me to be a speaker and I was like, cool beans. So I'm a speaker today. It's called Black Hair and Art, basically. So it's a art show revolving around hair. So that's why she asked me to be part of it, you know, because I love hair. I love natural hair, but yeah. You know, because I'm gonna be in front of people and I'm gonna be like on a stage, on a panel, I felt like you might need to like really bring it. So I'm gonna take this down today. You know, we're talking about hair today, so why not have my actual hair out? My hair is not in a place that I can't go and to a style right after it. It's not. So I thought about taking this down and then doing a, like a low ponytail with a, you know, clipping ponytail or just doing a middle part that going backwards ponytail because the dress I plan to wear, I feel like that look will look really good with it. I don't know. So many thoughts in my head. Right now it's, it's 9.54, almost 10 a.m. I kind of do have time. The event is not until 6.30. 30, so I'll probably have to be there at least like six, I guess. I do have plenty of time, I really do. But let me just first start with taking it down. That's the first thing I know I'm doing for sure. What I'm not doing is keeping my kinky twist in. Today, let's have the hair out and about. But the first step is to take this down. So, shall we? Yeah. Hey. Hello, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude interrupting while you're watching this vlog, but I gotta let you know about the new store we just launched, www.thatnaplife.com. Yeah. It is an online lifestyle apparel store, and I definitely want you to check it out. So go ahead and click the link in the description box and check out the shop. I hope you find many items that you want to rock. Okay, thank you in advance. All right, let's get back to this vlog. for a little bit or basically until I'm done cooking and eating and regardless of how I feel after I cook and eat because I can guarantee you I'm not gonna feel like coming back to go wash my hair but I know I need to so one thing I'm starting to understand and trying my hardest to stay doing is doing things I know I need to get done regardless of whether I feel like it or not. But you hear in the world like, you don't feel like doing it, girl, you ain't got to. And we come to normalize that, but you have to understand there's some things that you don't feel like doing, but you need to do it anyway. If I don't feel like washing my hair, I need to wash my hair. So that little saying doesn't apply. If you don't feel like doing it, girl, don't do it. No, go do it. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. All right, let me cook some breakfast. I'm just gonna make some eggs, maybe some oatmeal. I don't know why, but I feel like having oatmeal today. So I'm gonna make oatmeal the old, is it, is it considered old school if you make it on the stove? All right, so with my quick oatmeal, I like to just water in the stove, you feel me? I'll put a little bit of salt. This is pure sea salt, that's all I use. This is the sausage I'm going to be enjoying today. It's chicken sausage. This might be the last time I have sausage inside this house. I'm really trying to get away from eating things that are, what's the word? Oh, it's slipping my mind. Oh, some reason I can't think of the word at all and I've been thinking about it all day. Anyway, food that is not natural. Water's boiling, so now let's get our oatmeal. So I kind of just gauge to where it's not a lot more than the water. There's still some liquidiness to it because I like my oatmeal a little liquidy. I mean, I like it so liquidy that even after this is cooked and everything, I'm still gonna eat it with a little bit of milk in there. I'm gonna put all my sausage in here. Probably should have already started this, but anyway. I only have three left, so I'm just gonna finish it off. Flip in, timer up, it's on 400. I have a Here's a cute little air fryer, huh, y'all? Yeah? Okay, so now we are gonna do the eggs. Bon appetite. I'm gonna have some good hearty fiber 
protein tasty breakfast right now or brunch right now let me enjoy my breakfast in peace see you in a little bit before i do my makeup y'all want to help me figure out what i want to wear let's do that okay this is what i have in mind first one i have in mind is from target multicolored the back is like this i haven't worn it yet y'all see like a little bow really really cute really really cute i love i love the different prints i'm loving this puffy sleeves i'm liking this okay then i'm also like should i represent my culture and wear this jumpsuit so it's pants and this is an affinity top so i can tie it any kind of way i want to tie it okay that's that now the one i feel like i most like am gonna go with is this dress right here i know i know y'all probably like that's the one grace i know okay i'm gonna go with i was just trying to get out of my having to iron this so you know i don't like ironing all right this is the one i'm gonna go with and i'm gonna iron it this is so 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 cute hopefully it still fits because i haven't worn it yet all right peoples i'm walking into the building so as you can see i was not able to show y'all everything else but this is the area look at the art y'all oh no that's that symbol means something probably not good this is actually some dark art I like the colors. Anyway, I am completely on time. Hi, how are you? Hi, how you doing? This is my good friend that is the host of this event. That is the art, Ryan. So let's see what this says. Oh, okay, so this one is called Face Off. It says, Face Off, when I transition from relaxed permed hair. So right here, she probably has her hair straightened out. I struggle to embrace wearing my hair in a fro. This piece illustrates the stare down face off between the two styles and the joy that followed once I embraced the fro. All right, we have more art. This is so cool. I love art. Video mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm still like running around, but I see. It's okay. I'm enjoying the art, girl. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Chelsea, you look lovely. You too. <laughs> she has lipstick on. I have never seen that with lipstick. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Brown stick. Come on. Who is she? Get into the details. Got a little cleavage. <laughs> yes. Oh, my friends are beautiful. Don't be jealous of me, y'all. I got gorgeous friends. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that is lovely. I like that dress. All right, that's what I'm wearing with y'all. All right, y'all. You're a person. Yeah, this is a vlog. Look relax. It's a vlog. <laughs> this is Pinto Co. We bought it in 2020. Okay. Um, we are all about bold, provocative statements that make people stop and think. This first line is paying homage to the motherland. That's why you see made in Africa. Nice. Identity is important in knowing like where we come from, who we are. And so these shirts, Negro, made in Africa, human is the unifying piece of who we are with humanity. Negro. There's a little history behind the word, so we can do some digging and I think it's that's like probably one of I think the boldest in this collection. Again, because of the history of the word. So yeah, and then we have our staple made in Africa sweatshirt super comfy super soft and i'm looking forward to just continuing to build and doing more YouTube, doing videos in my house, in my restroom. And as far as natural hair goes, for me, it's, it helped me to tap into who I naturally am and not being, well, what I was before ashamed of wearing my own natural hair because it didn't fit the societal standards. Representing the fellas. <laughs> we got Will. My name is Will, Will Ford. My trade, I'm in logistics, but that's just with money on the table. I'm an artist, I create, I paint, make shirts. I'm just a creative in all different types of ways. And I love black people. So. All right, come on down.
My name is Christy Coleman. I am an entrepreneur. I help people who experience me home hair loss. So I make my own products here in Kingman, Texas. I have a storefront and I'll be opening up my next location next year. We, we really help a lot of people who are struggling with hair loss and their self esteem as well. Now I want to get everybody on your feet because I know it's going to be good for the Instagram and the pictures. I had this idea because I had just crazy experiences with my hair, dealing with identity, racism, and I've had some really great friends and family just encourage me to pursue. Creating by trade, I work in marketing, so I put it all together and created this art. So, thank you for being here. I had this idea because I had just crazy experiences with my hair, um, dealing with identity, racism, and I've had some really great friends and family just encourage me to pursue creating. By trade, I work in marketing, so I put it all together and created this art. So thank you for being here. Lights a spark. It's like you know me. You feel people have to muster within themselves to finally meet being unapologetic with their hair. I think what I had to muster is not thinking my hair has to look like what I consistently have seen in the media, on the timeline, and so on. Because when I first started my natural hair journey, I also I tried it. At least three, four times. The first time I ended up text waxing, the next time, same thing, and then I permed again. Because it kept on not looking like the Tracy Ellis Ross or the Alicia Keys. It was not looking like that. I was just like, what am I doing wrong? Unbeknownst to me, I, I was doing, my hair was doing what it naturally does, mm. being this kinky, coily self, That's but I wasn't accepting it. So, because it's not something you see consistently praised in the media at all. Mm -hmm. Me having one of the kinkier texture, texture, Team 4C, what's up? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> it made me feel like, you know, was I dealt the short end of the stick? Not knowing that actually your hair is the kinkier texture and that's a blessing. If you, if you allow it to be a blessing to you, you know? So what I had to, what I feel most of us or most people that don't accept their hair texture have to shift is not thinking their hair is the problem. It's not the problem. The problem is how you're approaching it. You know, like there was one saying that says, don't take the kinks out of your hair, take the kinks out of your mindset. Mm -hmm. So that's what I feel like is the core of it. Once you shift it and say, this is what naturally grows out of my hair, so you get to know this person, this hair. You know, well this person, because your hair is a person, right? So you get to know this person, it will just change a lot of things. Now, Will, coming to the fellas, right? Mm -hmm. And I asked Will before we started, you know, Will, you're bald. <laughs> and I said, was, was being bald a choice or was this a result? So in the space of being resilient in your transition, you know, of dealing with hair and hair loss, what's your, what's your experience being a, a black man now having to deal with losing your hair as it was once part of who you were. You gonna get the jokes. Basically from the homeboys. Not even from women, actually. It's from the homeboys, you get the jokes all day. For me, it definitely wasn't a choice. Probably about eight years ago, I seen a picture of myself and it's a little kind of thin up here. So I'm like, I'm gonna probably be bald in the next three, four years. So I just shaved it off to see how it looked. It was all right, the ladies were still feeling me. So. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, probably a year after that, I'm like, I wonder if I could grow it back. So I grew my hair back for probably about three or four years. Then it just got too bad. Had to let it go. I want to say it was kind of tough. High school had braids. I was one of the dudes that got to braid every three days because it had to stay fresh. <laughs> after I cut the braids, had to, the waves, like it was a thing for me. So when I lost my hair, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. But like I said, the ladies are still feeling me. So like, <laughs> my wife loves it. And I will say this to fellas, that hair rub is no joke. <laughs> so I know it'd be hard, but it, it, it's okay to let it go. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> It's all like, 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 like,
Now I'm glad I got it. <laughs> body and no facial, it might be a problem. Uh, the beard is flourishing. That's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I will say I took advantage of it. Um, like I got a lot of followers because of the beard, but you really? can buy these shirts though. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? So the beard? the beard did kind of help me yeah, yeah. in other ways. So it's oh, it is kind of flourishing. I'm happy for you. Luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got these different words, uh, Brian, and I feel like I'm uh, getting a theme, even hearing in your conversation some of these words that pop up. But how did you choose which words that you were going to incorporate into the piece? So I actually looked up there. So there's a, a verse in the Bible about um, the fruit of the spirit and mm -hmm. the fruit of the spirit are, I don't know them all by heart, but some of them are included into this piece because um, the fruit of the spirit, like love, joy, kindness, um, those are attributes of things that you, when you're rooted in what I believe the Lord, mm -hmm. that's the result. That's the result, and that ties back to how you treat your hair as well. So we talked about treating your scalp well and oiling it. Um, that produces great hair. And so the words to me connect back to the Bible verse, um, which I've written on here, which is Matthew 7 and 20. Um, you can identify a tree by its fruit is that verse. And so that ties back to that for me. The other thing that's really cool about hair, I don't know if any of you have gotten like a new job and had to do like a drug test. Mm -hmm. They actually take samples of people's <coughs> hair and it tells, it traces back to mm -hmm. what you've done. And so your hair actually holds history. And so I tied that to the piece as well. And, and then I put myself down at the bottom as a representation of just being down in the dirt and, and rooted. Mm -hmm. um, and the roots a lot of times on trees are actually deeper than how tall the tree is. Mm -hmm. So it's deep. Yeah. It is deep. I really enjoy it. Yeah. And so you mentioned something about like when you apply for a job and then you gotta do a drug test. So some of us have had the experience of working in corporate and having to, as you have a piece out there, this mask. Tell me more about that piece and kind of what inspired it and how I'm sure many of us Feel like we have that mask that we're wearing authentically but then even physically changing yeah i have two pieces i think that hit on that kind of point so the first one is invisible woman and this was based off of a book called invisible man and i read this book it's an old novel in the 50s and i was like wow this guy went through the whole book feeling not seen and i'm like how often does that seem to be my case so one day at work i got confused for the other black girl mm -hmm. um and i'm like i've been on your team for almost a year and you don't know I'm Ryan? And so I just felt invisible. I felt like a brown dot, like mm -hmm. fill in the name. And so that's what inspired that with the book, the piece called Invisible Woman. But really, I am a woman. And so the way that I've done the photos is um, my face is being revealed. So you can actually see who I am. The other piece that I have out there is called um, The Reach. And I was on a podcast, my friend, um, culturally distinct, Adam in the back, also the DJ. Um, allowed me to talk about my experience at work where um, a white woman actually grabbed my hair from behind. So I was caught off guard. And that was like harassment, I think. Um, and so you have to remain professional you have to try to educate people the burden is always placed on us and so that piece is kind of that experience of recreating how I felt my facial expressions of this woman grabbing my hair because she was curious as if I am a petting zoo and I know that happens to lots of people I'm not the only one. And so she inspired that piece. And I wanted to have it on display so that people can understand it's not okay to touch someone's hair. And if you do, you should ask. So, yeah, and I feel like we learn so much about ourselves, even put into, you know, compromising situations like that. Why I got to be wise in this moment to not do something that's going to make me lose my job, right? Uh -huh. We learn so much about ourselves. In growing your natural hair, 
it is a process, and there are complications that come with that. I know you have some experience with people having hair loss. Yeah, so what would you offer and what do you suggest when people are, are challenged in that space, uh, alopecia and things like that? Well, what I would offer is first, you are not your hair loss. So what comes from, you know, you're seeing the bald spots, you're seeing your hair fall out on the scene, you're seeing the stress hair loss, you're seeing all that fall out, you are not your hair loss. So what that means is that you look at yourself in the mirror and that power comes from within. That power says, like, you know, I'm going to take hold. I want to take hold of my life. I want to take hold of what's trying to break me. So I'm losing my hair every single time I see in the sink and it's a tear comes down or my heart breaks or anything in that sense. I'm looking myself in the mirror saying, you won't break me, meaning I'm going to take those steps to take care of my hair. What does that mean? Am I deep conditioning once a week? Am I applying oil to my scalp once a week? Am I taking those steps to speak? What I want, and my signal steps actually get what I want as well. So that, in a sense, is sometimes we don't take those first steps to saying, okay, this is not going to break me. I know I'm, I know I'm losing my hair. I know it's coming out, but this will not break me. And the first step is taking charge of that. And what do you do? You put action where your mouth is. Do your deep conditions. Do your hot oil treatments. Don't slap a wig on and think that it's going to fix your problem because it's not. It's you're just covering up the same issue that you're hiding so when you get home, you take the wig off and since your hair is still, still you know, you start to take care of it. What are we doing? I shaved off all of my hair when I was about four years ago. So I walked into this salon and my hair was extremely damaged to the point where she couldn't tell me, she didn't want to tell me the truth that I couldn't transition from perm to um, natural. I couldn't keep both. So she literally was like, and I just looked at her, we both had this eye contact. I was, she, I was like, just shave it off. Just shave it off. I'm going to figure it out. And so when she shaved it off, I felt immediately undesirable. I felt immediately, like, free. I felt like nobody can touch me. But at the same time, I also felt like, ooh, like, I, I look like a boy. You, are, you know, like, I started to have all these insecurities. But then I realized that, like, beauty that didn't come from my hair. Like, me shaving it off, all that confidence came out. Oh, yeah, I know I can do anything at this point. So as I grew and as I grew with my hair, I started to fall in love with the different stages. So above the ear stage, we call it the ugly stage. Then you got the you got the stage down here, right? Like many bro, you got all the stages. So you like, oh girl, I don't know, like you want the stages. Every stage of my hair growth caused me to learn different things about myself in different ways that I can um, grow with my hair. And so for me, it really helped shape like that woman that I'm growing into be. All right, I have made it. Y'all see my eyes? I'm tired. Do y'all understand me? I made it home with my flowers. That matches my outfit. Glory be to God. Shout out to the hair. It came out really cute. So this is my look for the week. Okay. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me for my first speaking engagement. As my friends have said, may this be one of many more to come. I receive it. I receive it. I do. It was great. It was awesome. It was fun. Yeah, I do hope to do more. You know, as the Holy Spirit leads, I'm going to follow. So the Holy Spirit is leading me to do more of this stuff. Bring it on. Okay. So yes. Anyway, y'all, let me go remove my makeup. Let me go and wash thy face and just get ready for bed, basically. Kofi's here. Hey, Kofi. How you doing? All right, that's good. Nice talking to you. So anyway, y'all, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. And I thank y'all for joining me. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Remember y'all, in order to have healthy mind, body, soul, spirit, everything, you got to do healthy things consistently, consistently, okay? I'll see y'all on the next one. Deuces. The truth is, we are beautiful. We are absolutely gorgeous. And I feel, when I understood that that's a truth that doesn't shift, then it doesn't matter what else comes that day. It doesn't change the truth that I'm still beautiful.